Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers that responded to the I have a problem with my vector. Every one of your responses were very helpful and I have this, I feel the support for each one of you and I'm hoping that this video will help a little bit. Um, the problem with vector seems to be an app driven problem. The problem with Vector is if you are an Android device, such as I am, there is a problem with connectivity. If you're on an iOS device, your connectivity problem may not be there. You can actually use all the features of Vector. Now, I'm not sure if it's how widespread the Android problem is, but I can tell you I use three different Android devices from different manufacturers and each one of those Android devices failed when it came to trying to get into settings it would crash the device and that means that I could not get in and make Vector speak but he did speak in the very first in the initial setup he Evicted. made a noise and then it crackled out so Come something here. in the setup moved the volume down to zero. I don't know what, but it did. So, I was able then to reestablish them on a Fist iOS bump. device, hey, and once I did that, I got all the features that were available in the app, and they gave me the ability to get Vector up to where he is. So, what does that say? Right now, Anki seems to have the iOS nailed down, okay, so what we're gonna but do now, Android is not. It's still a problem. So if you have an Android device, so we can see what if you can get your hands on an iOS device to do your initial setup, it should work. Um, I did hear about someone having a problem with an iPad, um, but I'm not sure what the difference between the iPad and the iPhone is. So again, it seemed to even be the setup of the app in iOS was much more attractive looking than it was in Android. We were able to set them up on there. a iPhone SE, I believe is what the number of the small one. And I'll be honest with you, everything configured really nice. Even the view of the app, there was no cutoff letters. There was nothing boxed up, such as on every single Android device that I tried to set it up on, there was some issues with the way that it loaded into the device. So, what does that say? It says Anki appears to be readily available for iOS, but still has some issues with Android. So, don't touch that dial, stay right here. And we're gonna do the unboxing so you can take a look at the unboxing if you don't have a vector of your own. Thank you for all for being wonderful individuals. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? We've been waiting for it and we finally got it. Vector by Anki. So we're going to open up this box. There's one on the bottom. Nice packaging, nice packaging. Oh. Cue the music, Phil. So inside the box we have a cube for Vector. That's different. We never had any cubes for Cosmo. Nice packaging. Okay, let's gonna start with Vector. Uh, Vector, he's a lot heavier than Cosmo. You can feel the weight of him. Charging sand. Let's 
instruction manual. Way different than the Cosmo box. We have vector, charging stand, cube, and instruction manual. All right, thank you each and every one of you for your responses. It was awesome. It was excellent. And I promise to give you more about Vector as it develops. We're going to do some other things for with Vector, but as of right now, we finally got him up and running so we can actually do some tests on Vector. We can actually make him do something. Hey, Vector, I have a question. What's the distance from Phoenix to Chicago? Thank you for watching the channel. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. And I will see you soon. More to come about Vector.